Hello fellow bravers. Welcome to another installment of the Nightmare House 2 playthrough of the Braveface edition anyways. Um, yeah, unfortunately this installment will be a little bit different. It won't be actual Braveface. Um, unfortunately, basically how my humble setup works is that I have one software recording me and the other one recording uh, the screen. So it's one software Basically, it's two software. You see how that works? It's base. It's it's a uh, it's a uh, arithmetic. You know, it's uh, it's pretty good. Yeah, I think you got it. Uh, I have some pretty smart fan bases. It took me a while to figure it out though. But <laughs> anyway, so just getting back in. It'll be a little bit different. I apologize for that. Basically, what happened was my face cam software did decided to stop recording after an hour, but I didn't know because I decided to keep playing for more than an hour so yeah anyway so let's just dive right in I apologize if it's not gonna be exactly what you were looking for today but I think it's kind of important for the story and uh, I didn't really wanna like reenact my playthrough you know so let's just dive right in and uh, I'm staring at some bones here and I save and this is before uh, I talk to Romero again in the next room, but I'm just exploring now. I'm looking around, and I'm like, are there any zombies here? Any ammo or anything? Uh, just to let you know, I'll probably be cutting out a few unnecessary parts, a few slow parts, because again, this is really mostly meant for uh, the story part of the actual game, rather than the actual entertainment, actual bravery and stuff like that because it's kind of hard to convey that over a game like this in such a mode. So I'm exploring and I'm wondering like oh look, paint me like one of your French girls because that skeleton really looked like a really good example of paint me like one of your French girls meme. Not my favorite meme but uh, I was just kind of help me, help me, help me. I did notice that. I didn't really react to it. I'm going to be perfectly honest here. You might not believe me, but honestly I wasn't scared during this part, but I was very concerned. Very concerned about uh, the safety of the main character. Like, three hits and he's dead. He's only got 75 hit points. This is on the hardest mode. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Whack, whack, whack. I'm trying to break it through. I see a fire can, shoot only one bullet just to save ammo, because really you only need one bullet just to, get to ignite it. Run, blah blah blah, that happens. It's all good. And then I hear those fast zombies and I'm like, I'm pretty sure I hear two of them. For some reason I think I hear two of them. I'm still pretty sure there's two of them. But... There seems to be a little bit of sinking issues. Please try to pay no heed to that, and I apologize if it really does become a problem. But again, this is really mostly for the story of the actual game. And, you know, I, I did make a joke. I don't know if it caught into the other videos. It probably didn't, but it was like uh, a Miami uh, CSI joke. You know, the typical pun. I even had the aviators and everything going on. <laughs> uh, basically, someone You're had a bomb. Alive. That was the bomb. I thought bomb, you died or something. Which was I lost track of you for like I'm so glad minutes. that I get a revolver to no shoot fast zombies happened, with because those guys can be tough to hit and tough Look, to put down. I know you can see her. She wants something from you. Just be careful. Um, the rest of the hall is blocked by rubble. Let me think. Oh yeah, go back to the laundry room. If I'm right about this, there should be an air vent behind the third washing machine. Go check it out. And I'm like, the whole time I'm like wondering, like, are they, am I gonna get ambushed in this room? Will those, because I keep thinking that those fast zombies are out there. I keep thinking that throughout this entire installment. Uh, maybe up until the end I kind of figured that they won't be making any show. But, um, at this point I'm just, like, kind of concerned, like, what do I, is there anything I can do to slow him down, block him, 
try to put a computer in the way. Maybe they'll like trip over it or something. Of course I know they won't, but you know, and I'm like, oh, this guy's gonna get up. And he does, and I get up my axe and I whack him a few times and he goes down. Without even landing so much as a hit on me. Whack, 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 whack. It goes down, because he knows I'm the king. And I save, because I'm like, well, those fast zombies, they're gonna <laughs> make an appearance. But they don't. <laughs> oh, gosh, and I'm like, ah, the bin in this room has been moved. And I'm, I get all concerned about this bin, I'm like, they've been here, those fast... And I'm like, whoa, it floats, which makes sense. I think I was a little more surprised with if it was dry in there. It was, it was, it was definitely dry in there. And this part, like, really confuses me. Because I get... I get pimp slapped. Uh, and does only 1 HP, but I'm like, what the hell was that? And I realize it only does 1 HP, so I'm like, did the, did the Half-Life 2 leeches come? Are, are the leeches from Half-Life in the water? And I'm just thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly very confused. Open this up. And I kind of have some of my suspicions that it might be the ghost that did it, because I don't see any enemies. Uh, I, I believe I tried to take a shot at that, just because of reaction. Man, I don't know what is going on with these frame rates. But again, I, I know I've mentioned this on many a times. I definitely have very, very humble hardware with a very, very humble setup and a very, very humble goal, mission, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I was singing. I was singing a song about Napoleon and the Battle of Waterloo. It was very historical and very catchy, and I'll be sure. To sing it. it was so good, I memorized it. I'll be sure to sing it again. Like, maybe... Not now, because at this part I see ammo, and I'm like, it's a trap. But I know if I sprint for it, it'll all be okay. So I sprint for it. Nothing happens. I, I hear a laugh, and... she She's probably laughing at me, because she's all like, Haha, you ran for it. And I'm like, yes I did, because I don't know what's gonna happen. I camped the corner to be safe. I really camped the corner to be safe. But yeah, the whole time I'm just like, oh, four hits and I'm dead. And fast zombies are really kind of... Especially two of them. Two fast zombies are pretty... Pretty annoying to deal with. And on hard, on the hardest difficulty, it's downright the toughest. I'm like, oh, Hilda. Why do you keep trying to seduce me down here? And this this is actually not very important. Probably cut this part out. Find some ammo. Oh wait, actually, God, is there anything I can cut out? Because really, <laughs> I don't want you to really miss anything that happened. No, I guess there isn't. Wow. That well, shoot, that's not what I planned. I get slapped again, this time for like 4 HP. Obviously she's getting a little more aggressive, she probably wants to know why am I holding all my money out on her? And I'm like, well I see there's power cells, so I probably have to put power cells in here, but I'm not willing to do that because the Half-Life 2 aliens could teleport at any time and start electrocuting me, the, Vortigaunt, the Vortigaunts from Half-Life anyways, from Half-Life 1. And this basically, this room kind of shows how I play games. I'm a very thorough, very chronological, very by-the-book kind of guy. I'm the kind of guy who buys 99 elixirs and never uses them because you never know when you might need them. And so, I take down every obstacle that I could get caught up on, anything, because I think there will be a siege. I, I honestly get the impression that uh, enemies will will try to take me down uh, at this point in the game. You know, as soon as I put in the power cells that something will happen, but... So, uh, you, you just get to see kind of the way I 
make some pretty ridiculous preparations. <laughs> you know, I, I it's it's <laughs> I basic I don't put in the power cells one at a time because I think oh they'll come in waves, and it'll be uh, much harder to deal with it that way. And so I actually gathered the power cells. I was a little confused by that too. I was like, what was that? Figured out it was just some ghost, some cheap ghost, blah blah blah. <laughs> some cheap ghost parlor trick that's what I want to say and uh, I, yeah I literally gather up the batteries and I install them oh no 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 not yet not yet this is this is it gets even better I save because I'm like this is gonna be tough I take the flares to illuminate everything because I'm like I'm gonna need to know where what I'm looking at and I put them in as fast as possible like as fast as possible I realize I don't have my gun out, I hit the switch, and I'm like, I, I'll camp a corner, I'm like, I, I usually uh, go switch between weapons just for the Q, the Q key, for if, if you don't know, Q is basically use your previous weapons, I try to climb there, oh my gosh, this, ah, lag, what is good, what the heck, well anyways, uh, huh, that's weird, and I realize nothing happens. So I go, well, there might be a trap here. No, there's no trap here. And I'm like, well, there will definitely be a trap in the next part. And sure enough, there is. I take a few shots to the head. Nothing happens. And I'm like, oh, what? This is a new guy. And he's fast. And he's faster. And But I can strafe him all day. I, I even comment on that. I can strafe you all day, buddy. And I pretty much end up doing that. I'm very pissed off at this guy because I realize he has armor and I can't kill him. By so I start shooting at his legs because I sure as hell am not gonna try to strafe this guy while crouching. <laughs> also, um, a little bit. Actually, I just noticed. How the hell are? How is he talking through his radio? I mean, he's freaking dead. So enough leg shots will kill even the dead, but I'm very, very disappointed and very, very angered by this deceased individual because he just wasted all of my fast zombie killing bullets. My revolver was wasted on his ridiculous armor, and I'm Security gate not very Please happy about that. Clear. And I also used up a bunch of <laughs> shots on his legs. Open the gate, and I'm like... Oh, yeah, well, you can't do anything. So I closed this door. At least my intention was to close that door. For some reason, this part of the... This, there will probably be a... And I'm like, whoa, this is open. I closed it. Why is it open? So I check it, and I'm like, whoa. If you'll open it for me, I'll just close it. And then... I get slapped again for more damage, I think, this time. Or was it again? 4 HP? Well, either way, I figure, oh, this is another one of Hilda's little events. I'm a little confused with why my battery is on the fritz, so I try to charge it, but uh, I realize that this is the fritzy part. It's just part of the event, so I think oh, I'll just wait out the event. She'll do her little illusion. She'll disappear, and I'll get my, my, uh, my flashlight back. But it doesn't come back. That's just how it is, and... Uh, I psych myself out very, very hard on this one, because I'm like, well, this is just like in Doom, pretty much, where I go into a very dark spot, my my light source isn't very reliable, and I'm going to get jumped by a couple of baddies, so I, of course, go very, very slowly, I try to, I try to basically get a picture of my surroundings through the intervals of the lights, try to corner myself, that way nothing can get the jump on me. At first I'm like, what is that noise? And I try to camp the corner, that way nothing can sneak up on me. But of course it's just like a gas casket or something like that. And this is the best part, I psych myself out so much that I actually allow myself to get hit. This guy totally gets the jump on me still. And I mean, I take the shots on him, but I guess I was leaning a little bit to the left, so a lot of them missed. I used up all my 18 shots on that one guy. And he took a couple of hits on me. Definitely got a few hits on me. And... 
yeah, and this is the part where I'm like, okay, I uh, guess this will be enough for today. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share. I apologize if this wasn't the exact video you were kind of looking for. I know it's different. I know it might be less entertaining, but I gave it my best shot at casting my own gameplay. Um, just a quick know-how, when I take over from this part, uh, I realize I didn't save at this part, so I actually had to do like the last three minutes all over again. So I'll probably end up with a little bit more ammo now, because I, I have a slightly better hindsight, obviously, about that guy jumping me. I'll sprint around like a like an animal, and yeah, uh, that's all, that's, I, I, I guess you pretty much caught up on uh, all the gameplay that's going on so far. Anyways, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, whatever. If you like any of my videos, please do the exact same thing. And uh, if you're more interested more about Brave Face Challenges, go to the About section of my page. It's got a lot more better details. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. No, really, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.